has a better system for identifying and processing mobile phone calls, the 911 emergency system or Domino's Pizza? Well, if you said Domino's, you're right. In tonight's tip line story, you're about to see why and how a major flaw is killing people. January 30th, 2014. Jordan Soto's parents find her on the floor. They call 911. Paramedics respond, but dispatchers send Santa Barbara firefighters to the wrong address on the other side of town. Our dispatcher is giving them emergency medical instruction on how to perform CPR. They keep going, where's the, where's the fire truck, where's the fire truck, where's the fire truck? The 24-year-old mother dies. Firefighters arrive 22 minutes after the initial call. We basically were, you know, frantic. It's like, where's, where are the paramedics? Well, we don't hear any sirens. You know, it's nuts. We could have carried her by now. Cindy Soto, Jordan's mother, had never spoken on camera about her daughter's death until now. I think about this almost every day. At some point, I think about, you know, how much I miss her and that she may be alive today. Most people will intuitively reach for their cell phone because they think it's quicker. It may or may not be true. Santa Barbara Fire Chief Pat McElroy has spent more than a year identifying what went wrong that night and how to fix it. We start in 1967 when President Johnson commissions law enforcement to come up with one phone number for emergencies, 911. Then, in 1973, then-Governor Reagan created a state fund to pay for the new 911 system. The tax still shows up on hardline phone bills. So this is a hardline home phone. Hardline home phone, and that's what this system was built on. In the early 70s, the first mobile phones appeared, and they were mostly used in vehicles. The decision was made and, and legislation was enacted that all of those calls would go to the California Highway Patrol. You'll see why that's important in a moment. In the 90s, cell phone use exploded. Now when someone calls 911 from a mobile phone, chances are the CHP gets it. 911, what is the address of your emergency? The calls go to a PSAP, or a Public Safety Answering Point Dispatch Center. There are 450 PSAPs in California. The CHP runs only 25 of them. But it handles 49% of the 20 million 911 calls a year. So. The CHP is carrying too heavy of a load. Just common sense would tell you that with that volume of calls, you're going to be getting all of our operators are busy. Yeah. Or the calls, going to get, calls are going to get dropped, you're going to get put on hold. In the Soto case, the 911 call was routed to CHP dispatch in Ventura, not Santa Barbara dispatch. And that started a series of mistakes. So why did the call go to Ventura CHP? Because the reception area for the cell phone tower near the Soto home touches the 101 freeway. So the call goes to the CHP. The problem is we don't have a landline. You know, we called 911 from a cell phone. And they were obviously confused. The 911 operator was just kept asking us, where are you? We can't find you. You know, we gave her directions off the mission, this and, you know. And they ended up in Montecito somehow. Even worse, the Sotos live just two blocks from Fire Station 5. May 23, 2014, the Isla Vista massacre. Six dead, 14 hurt. 911 calls flood cell sites inside Stork Tower at the UCSB campus. All of the calls picked up from that tower, this is cut out of IV, still go to Ventura CHP. Why? Was never corrected. That problem had been identified back in 2011, but it had never been fixed. I made a 911 call from right outside this office, went to Ventura CHP. The chief says the federal government has determined that 10,000 Americans die every year from this flaw in the 911 system. He says the current outdated system based on hardline phones can be upgraded and it will save lives. So it's a real challenge. When the chief points out that if Google, Uber, and yes, Domino's Pizza can use the latest technology, so can the state of California. I want to be able to say that we're doing something. <laughs> that we didn't just go, yeah, gosh, that's kind of the way things are now. If anything good could come out of Jordan's death, it would be the changing the system to where, you know, the death stopped, or at least they had a better chance. 
And in case you're wondering, the Stork Tower problem was finally fixed. So how much would it cost to upgrade the 911 system? Well, the chief says a big chunk of the problem can be fixed without any cost. It's a matter of getting the phone carriers and the state to accept change and to do something about it. Assemblyman Doss Williams has introduced a bill to make those changes. We'll let you know what happens with that. As for the State Office of Emergency Services that oversees the 911 system, they did not answer our questions, but we did put their entire response on our website at KUIT.com.